Okay, so I want to sign up for Amazon Prime Video because I'm kind of bored with uh, Netflix and YouTube. So I want to check out this, and this is the other network up and coming with a lot of really great uh, series that are coming out on it that you'd want to check out. So you just go Amazon Prime Video, you Google it, and you go check it out. And the great thing is, like the others, they've got 30-day free trial. And then after your trial, Amazon Prime is just Canadian, which they know, see that I'm a Canadian, $7.99 a month plus any applicable taxes. Well, that's pretty good. It beats the other. Um, I think I, they, Netflix just went up, actually. So cancel any time. Uh, Quebec residents receive a two-month membership for that instead of, instead of a free trial. So that that's pretty neat stuff. And you get all this, um, you know, new movies and series. Everyone's getting on the series creation. God, we're all going to be just sitting in front of the TV and our screens <laughs> in the future. So I guess you got uh, you got a little uh, video app, a Prime Video app that you can get loaded onto your cell phone or your tablet, and then you can go there. Um, also, there's something for everyone with Prime. So enjoy two uh, day shipping. So I guess you get while you're signed up for Prime, you get e better shipping when you buy things from Amazon. So it's a double win. So let's start our free trial here, and I guess I can just sign in with my current Amazon account. And let's see if it uh, goes through and see if it uh, passes the account. Boom. And I guess, does that automatically sign me up for it? Let's check it out. I'm going to go check out my um, things account and settings. I'm going to take a little peek, edit on Amazon. And it sees that I've got a thing here, edit payment history. So I guess I've got 30 days now to um, set things up. And these are the things. we got the channels back here. Uh, video channels payment history. So no channels found. The unknown voices are. So I guess it's automatically signing me up uh, for everything. Auto play your devices. Let's see what do they see? Register new advice. Or best prime is in your watch list. We can do that. We can do that. Let's go home. Let's see if it's just gonna play. Let's let's see if I could just end up watching a movie and then I'll install this on my cell phone. Well, let's go for something that uh, I might want to watch. Hey, <laughs> Elf, Christmas is coming. That could be fun. I just dated the video, of course, uh, to when this is Shutter Island. That's free. Okay, this Jack Clancy's getting a lot of attention. Let's go. Play Season 1, Episode 1. I'm going to add it the season to the watch list first. Let's see if it's going to play it. So, Season 1, Episode 1 pilot. So, I guess it's got ads, just like any other movie. Okay, so I'm making this video now, and in the future I'll show you how to actually cancel it if I so choose. And it looks like you can, and I guess it's just automatically uh, got me in there. So that's the deal. So I'm, that's that fast. You to sign up for a Prime Video, you just use your current Amazon account and um, just log in and pop. It's gonna it's gonna do that. So I guess the next thing is I better find out. How to quit it? <laughs> how to quit before it, uh, the 30 days is over? Because I want to make sure that. But um, that I guess we can take a look into help and just to make sure setting up and supported device terms and conditions, um, accessibility, troubleshooting doesn't tell a lot with uh, quitting. So um, uh, cancel. Uh, So how to cancel Prime Video? So I guess it's um, you receive access to Prime Video as part of an Amazon. Go cancel my Prime. Go to the account settings, account tab. Look for your membership. Uh, select end membership and confirm. And I guess uh, that is primarily it. If your subscri subscription was created through a third party, such as mobile, contact them. Turn off auto renew. So I guess that's a major one. Turn off auto renew. Go to account settings and look for your membership section. Select end and confirm if you receive Prime Video as part of an Amazon Prime membership. Um, so I don't, so that's good. So let's go check it out, see if it actually gives it. So your details, your payment history, edit on Amazon. So you're gonna have to actually, um, we're gonna have to go over to Amazon to cancel. And that's it, so I'm gonna lock, uh, log in. I have my password generator. And if I wanted to, um, annual, Best value prime, we would have to actually two day shipping, CL prime, watch list out, do 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 do, manage a prime membership, best value, annual, next payment, 
January, February, March, April, May, you'll be charged 79 for a year of Prime. Well, that's really weird. This is monthly, so I guess we just got to make sure that it's 79. It's uh, So I guess that's the first thing you want to make sure that you change it to. The current measure will continue May 5th, which you will be charged 79, 799 a month of Prime. You agree to Amazon Prime terms and conditions and authorize us to ch uh, charge your default payment method. Your Prime membership continues until canceled. If you choose Prime monthly and, and do not wish to convert for Canadian seven ninety nine a month plus any applicable uh, canceling time, yeah, switch to Prime monthly for sure. I'm not paying for a whole year. So that's funny. So that's really interesting. That I mean, it's uh, right now it's November, so December, January, February, March. I don't understand why it's acting like I'm going to um, have to uh, end membership and benefits. Let's see what's going on down here because it doesn't make sense. I just signed up for thirty day free. Um, items tied to your Prime is affected if you cancel your membership. Uh, video stream your favorite movies. This remind me three days before my membership renews. So. I guess we could do that. Um, I think this is a major that we should be like, remind ourselves in our account, remind me three days before it ends. Okay, so stay on annual. So that's number one. So I guess after this, a reminder will be sent to you on May. Turn off the reminder. So that's really weird that this is actually, last payment was May 2009. So I guess maybe in essence, I paid for a year of this stuff and um, Maybe that's when it renews because logging back into Amazon Prime um, is acting like I have been paying for a year. So I guess uh, I could just take a look into that. So that's basically it. Make sure to go in here and change it to monthly and make sure everything makes sense uh, going forward from there.